summer one for 2018 because it's going to be coming into autumn so I had a look on the website I thought you know what I'm just gonna get loads of stuff just try it all on see what is good because I want to help you guys out and I want to find you the best stuff that looks the best for this season so if you do enjoy the video don't forget to drop it a like subscribe if you're not already and like always I'll link everything in the description below let's get into it got my almond milk latte Ready to delve into it. I think I spent about £330-£340 on the whole thing. But I've got loads of stuff, so let's have a look. Oh my god. Can't even really see it, look. Look at all that. Right, where to begin? I didn't even realise how much stuff I'd ordered. So we've got vests, t-shirts, got um, like a jumper, jackets, jeans, and joggers. We'll start off with the jacket, because that's where I always start off. We've got four jackets, I think. We'll go with the denim green one first. Looks nice. Right, so this is the first thing from Bershka. A size large, a slim fitting. Like a lime mint green denim jacket. It's pretty nice. You know I love Bershka, I love my Bershka. And we're off to a very good start. Fits me well. This is different as well, it's not like a normal denim jacket. Oh, I love the colour, you know, I really do like that colour. Bit obsessed with denim jackets, aren't I, at the minute? But yeah, this is going to go with a lot of different outfits. You can. The good thing about not having a blue denim jacket is that you can wear it with blue denim jeans, and it's not going to con clash too much. So yeah, pretty nice. I'll put all the prices on the screen because it doesn't say on the tickets and stuff. Next up, we have got this pretty cool bomber jacket from Pull and Bear, size large. Navy, red and white. I told you it's really in at the minute. I got that one from H&M, you know when I did the outfit challenge? Which is a little bit similar, but it's not a bomber. Let's see. Ooh. The fit of that, the fit. The audacity for the fit to be that good. Oh. I think jackets are my scene, jackets. I, I, I like autumn because I like wearing jackets. I don't know why. I don't just like having just a t-shirt. I feel like layers is more my scene. It's really nice. Again, it's different. It's more streetwear. But this is the trend nowadays. This is a style at the minute. This colour block, colour blocking. Very happy so far. Right, so these are my favourite. Track jacket from ASOS, size large, and it's a tall fit. So, yeah, tall, long, so it's like a little bit of a longer length. You know, I like my long stuff. But this colour, I saw it on the website. I thought, yeah, something a little bit different. I've already got that dark green one, and a black one, I think. Yeah, let's have a look. It's going to fit me bang bang, I know. But, I just... I really like it. Can guys pull off pink? I think they can. Yeah. That's well nice. Wear it to the gym, wear it out and about. You can zip it all the way up if you want. Let me see what it looks like. The zip doesn't get caught, yeah. You can zip it all the way up. And just keep it. Keep it open if you want. I quite like it open. But they're really comfy, dead lightweight, and I think they're like 20 quid. So definitely go and check it out. The tall one fits me great. I'm six foot two, 
and this is a size large. One. I thought I had another jacket, but it turns out it's actually a tracksuit. So I'll save that for the end. It's like an ASOS black tracksuit. We will try on this oversized sweatshirt in this nice bright blue colour now. Size large. I actually never really tend to wear like sweatshirts, so oversized as well. It's good to have some stuff fitted that's nice like this, and then it's good to have other stuff that is oversized. Because a lot of the time you don't want to wear stuff that's dead tight, but then again, you want it to look good, look like you actually go to the gym if you go. <laughs> just that. Streetwear nowadays though, isn't it? This is streetwear. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. I'm not really used to streetwear, but. Like you can, you know what I mean? It's, it's quite cool, isn't it? But it's a, it makes me look a bit like a um, sumo wrestler. No offense, but. Pretty cool, I suppose. It's that decent colour. I don't know if some of you guys watching might be into this sort of stuff, so that's why I thought I'd add it in. Yeah. We'll go on to the vests now. So I've got two vests, one from Boohoo Man and one from this new brand called Night Addict that I saw on ASOS. And I thought some of the stuff looked pretty good. I've got a vest and a couple of t-shirts from them as well. But we'll try on Boohoo first. Size large. And I actually realised it was going to be cotton based. It's kind of pretty cool, I suppose. Similar style to the ones that I'm bringing out on Sulphur, you know, them tanks that I've got. Um, yeah, the fit's not as good, the quality isn't great. You can tell it'll just like stretch in the wash. Which I'm going to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of it, right? Just doesn't feel dead high quality. We'll move on to the Night Addict one. So yeah, this is the Night Addict camo like tank. Pretty nice, size large. I quite like this. Something a little bit different. I really like the text. It's embroidered as well, so it feels pretty nice. Decent design. Yeah. Quite happy with that so far. Decent. Right, so if you saw my Forever 21 video, you would have seen that I had a Henley t-shirt. I've got another one here from French Connection, but I think it's short sleeve, not long sleeve. Let's have a look at this. So again, this is a size large. Got a short sleeve Henley. I think you're supposed to wear it open, like one or two. Quite nice. I've never actually owned a Henley, so quite tight on my arms. Got a nice little French connection logo which you can hardly see. But if I wasn't so fussy about the length of stuff, this would be a very nice t-shirt. Just again, you can start to see the bottom of my stomach. I don't know if I'm gonna be stretching up to do pull-ups in this, but still. Alright. So we've got two more night addict products. Two we'll try on them next. We've got just two normal t-shirts. I think what it says on it is pretty cool. It says, in memory of when I cared. <laughs> you can't care what people think nowadays, guys. You just gotta get on with it. But yeah, I quite like this tea. Nice, chill. If you don't want one that's fitting, go for something like this. And it's got night addict on the back of the neck as well. Pretty cool design, size large. We've got another black one, which I'll try on. So, we've got a new addition to the kitchen. <laughs> I'm not a kettle or a microwave. <laughs> yeah. So this is the oversized one from Night Addict. What do you think, Mum? It says, here for a limited time only. Very special edition. Don't know. Oh, it's too bad you get back. It's an oversized one oh, though. Right. It's an oversized t-shirt. Oh. Can't move a chill. What's it back? Night Addict. That's the name of the brand. Uh, I, quite, I think I prefer this one to the white one. 
Can you turn the tap off? I need to record a YouTube video. You can't give me warning, do you? You've just been talking to me and then you turn it off. You can be in it still. I don't want to be in it. Guys, comment below. Do you think my mum and dad should do like an outfit challenge where they pick a full outfit for me and then we see who wins? So my mum picks an outfit and then my dad oh, picks an outfit and then you can see who wins for it from ASOS. I think we should do that maybe. Yeah, I'll do that. We'll do it soon. I've got a t-shirt from ASOS. It says simplicity on it. It's like sequins. <laughs> Oversized tea. She's quite nice. Oh, that's a bit posh. Posh. Simplicity. Sparkle. So yeah, size large. It's just an ASOS t shirt, this one. You see, that's oversized is better because it's a bit longer. The other one's oversized. And it's short at the back and it's stuck out. It oh, did it? It hung where that one sits on your bum a bit. Right. That one looks better. Oh. Um, top tips from my mum. That's an expert. <laughs> right, so the last t shirt is this, uh, again, oversized because I thought I'd try something a bit different from ASOS just in that blue. It's oversized. This is what you call oversized. This is what you call <laughs> oversized. <laughs> That's oversized though, right? That looks <laughs> That's ridiculous. This is the fashion, I think, nowadays, honestly. Oh, do you hands out? It looks like you've got back wings. Honestly, people wear this. Do people wear this? I think they do. It must be, yeah. It's, it's got that, it's that shape, like a V. Yeah. So put your arms out, it goes like a V like that. Mm. Yeah. No, no, I don't like that. that the one. You just be walking around thinking you've got one of them hospital capes on <laughs> or whatever they are. Got a tracksuit, three pairs of joggers and three pairs of jeans. It's quite a big haul. So if you saw the boohoo haul that I did a few weeks ago, I got blue joggers got the black ones just to see what these look like size medium skinny fit all right so these are the boohoo joggers nice material nice and stretchy they're just a bit tight and not as tapered at the bottom they're 20 pounds like so Next are some B Bershka joggers, size large these ones, got a red stripe on the side, see what these look like. So this isn't going to plan, these are too baggy, the other ones are too tight, like genie pants, I like the design with the red stripe on that but ASOS recommended for me to get a size large but I, really, I could have got away with medium, way too big. Alright, I've got one more pair of joggers from Ace, the ASOS own brand in that is blue. These are a size large. Alright, so these are the ASOS ones. Size large, sh skinny fit. They're not comfy though. Like compared to the sulfit ones I've got, the crotch is like too dropped. It's way too like, low. There's no, like, there's no flexibility in it, so they won't be great for the gym. Not a fan of these at all. One's from H&M are better. Right, let's move on. We've got three pairs of jeans and then that tracksuit from ASOS. We'll try maybe the jeans on now. First up is Stradivarius. Super skinny, dark blue. These are Stradivarius. I'm size 34. Waist 32 leg. I like the design. Pretty comfy. thing that I always struggle with on jeans, my mum just pointed it out. This is, there's too much material around here, like why are they using all that excess material? Maybe fold them up a bit and have them sleep you can, you can do it like that. You can, you can roll them up like that, but you want them to be fitted well without having to do that. Right, yeah, they look well better. 
I'd say. Yeah, you'd have to wear them like that. Yeah, but you can just take them to the tailor, I suppose, and get it done for like 15 quid. But like, that's how much the jeans cost, so. Next up, we'll try on the Pull'n Bear. All right, guys, so these are the ones from Pull'n Bear, 34 waist. The same problem occurs, is like the extra material there. And I know I go on about it a lot, but it makes a difference in style. Like when you're wearing shoes, you don't want the look to be loads of excess material there. They're not a bad pair of jeans. Quite nice for the price point. I think they're like 25 quid. But yeah, I like the colour. Not bad at all. Right, I've got one more pair of jeans and then the tracksuit. The last pair of jeans are actually ASOS ones. Alright guys, so these are the comfiest of the three. They've got the most stretch. Oh yeah, they might have a little bit of excess material there. But I can sort that out. I might just take them to the tailor. It will cost me maybe a 10 or 15 quid. And it'll make them look so much better. But yeah, I love the colour of these. I've not got a pair this dark. From ASOS. 34 waist. Alright, last but not least, the tracksuit. Let's try it. Alright guys, so this is the full tracksuit. It's size large in bottoms and top. And yeah, this is really nice, you know. It's tall fit, so these are a little bit long. Could have maybe done with a just a normal fit on the bottoms. But I really like the jacket. And I like the white stripe as well that goes across it. Really comfy, nice and stretchy, perfect for the gym or going shopping, just chill day. Travelling, going to the airport, this would be very nice. Yeah, it's decent, I quite like that tracksuit, I think it's a bargain as well, you know. That's everything from the haul, guys. It was a pretty big one, wasn't it? And to be fair, I think it was a pretty good one. The only things I was a bit disappointed at was the joggers, all three pairs, like one was too tight and the other two were just... It didn't fit me great. If you do want to get a pair of joggers, I'm not, I'm not just saying this, but the Sulfit ones are the best I've ever tried on. Like, so comfy, dead stretchy. I'm wearing them now and they're just, I could sleep in them. I like pyjamas, honestly. Good for the gym, good for going out. So if you want to check them out, first link in the description. But yeah, I did enjoy this haul, guys. That pink trap jacket, the tracksuit, the denim jacket, the Pull'n Bear bomber at the start. And a couple of them t-shirts were pretty nice as well. So if you do want to shop any of the stuff from this haul, I'll also link that in the description as always. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell if you're not already to the channel for plenty more videos like this. I'll catch you on the next one. See you later, guys. In the bag, I want to return you to ASOS. You're not a good enough doggy. Come on, in. In the bag. In. Oh. She doesn't want to go back. <laughs>